All right, so lesson 96 is on functions and then graphing functions. So here it wants us to find the rule for this function, then use the rule to find the value of m when l is 7. So what we're looking at is we're seeing, okay, well, l, if I do something to l, it turns into m. So I want to think, well, 5 times what is 20? Okay, 5 times what is equal to 20? I know that 5 times 4 is equal to 20. So I think that the rule is that it's going to be L times 4. So let's just see if that works. So let's do the next one. Let's do 10. So if I do 10 times 4. Let's see if that equals 25. Well, no, 10 times 4 is equal to 40. So that is not the rule for this one. So I'm going to erase that. It's not multiply by 4, so let's try another one. So it's not multiply and I'm getting bigger, then it must be addition. So I'm going to think, okay, well, 5 plus something is equal to 20. Well, 5 plus 15 is equal to 20. So let's double check with the second one. 10 plus 15, and that's equal to 25, so that's correct. And let's double check for the next one. 15 plus 15 is equal to 30. So my rule is, my rule is that I'm adding 15 to L to get M. So my rule is plus 15. So if I need to do 7, I'm going to do 7 plus 15 to get M. So 7 plus 15 is equal to 22. So that's my answer is 22. The value of M when L is 7 is 22. Okay. So on this one, find the missing number in this function table. So when X is 2, this bottom one is equal to 4. When x is 3, the bottom is equal to th 7. So I need to figure out when x is 4. So I'm going to put x 4 into this equation. So it's going to be 3 times 4, because x is equal to 4, minus 2. 3 times 4 is 12, minus 2 is equal to 10. So 10 is my missing number. All right, on this one we have the perimeter of an equilateral triangle is a function of the length of its sides. So once we make a table for it using the side lengths 1, 2, 3, and 4 units and then graph it. So here let's make a table first. So the table is going to be my side and then the perimeter. So I'm going to have 1, 2, 3, and 4. So my side is equal to 1 then my perimeter is going to be 3 because I the triangle has 3 sides. So 1 times 3 is 3. If my side is 2, my perimeter is going to be 6 because again, 3 sides, 2 times 3 is 6. If it's 3, my perimeter is 9, and if it's 4, my perimeter is 12. Okay. It then wants you to graph the function. So here I'm going to do just a small graph. And on this side, we're going to have perimeter, and this one is the length of the side. So my length of the side, I'm going to have 1, 2, 3, and 4. My perimeter, I'm going to go up by 5s. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Perimeter, I have to go bigger, so I'm going to count by 5s. 5, 10, 15. Okay. Now I'm going to graph it. So when my side equals 1, my... Perimeter equals 3. So here's my 1, and 3 is going to be a little bit underneath the 5. So I'm going to say that it's right, right about there. Okay. Now when my length is 2, my side is equal to, or my side is 2, my perimeter is equal to 6. So I'm going to put it right about there. You'll have graph paper make it easier. When my side is 3, my perimeter is about 9. So it's going to be just underneath that 10. When my side is 4, my perimeter is 12, so it's going to be right underneath that 15. And then I want to draw a line that goes through these points. It's not perfectly straight. Uh, with graph paper, you can make it a lot straighter, but it would look something like this. Okay. So this side here corresponds with this side here. And then the perimeter, of course, corresponds with the perimeter there. And that's all. Good luck on your homework.